hello you are welcome how to solve this problem into bracket x minus 1 over x raised to power half then plus 1 minus 1 over x raised to power half equals to x from here let a be equals to the first bracket which is x minus 1 over x raised to power half and also let b be equals to the second bracket which is 1 minus 1 over x raised to power half then we can rewrite the equation we have again as a plus b equals to x so we can say we have here same thing as a plus b equals to x then also from here we can square both sides and this will give us a square on this side then the square on this side square we cancel this power of half and we are going to have x minus 1 over x as a square and also on this side we have square both sides we have b square on this side then we left with 1 minus 1 over x the square will cancel the power of half there then from here let's find a square minus b square from here so on this side now you subtract a square minus b square same thing as you subtract the right hand side as well on this side we have x minus 1 over x then minus the other side we have 1 minus 1 over x then when we simplify we have a square minus b square will become x minus 1 over x the minus open bracket here we have minus 1 then plus 1 over x here we have minus 1 over x cancel plus 1 over x and uh, we have left we have a square minus b square equals to x minus 1 then we have a perfect square here, difference of two square which we can write as a plus b times a minus b will give us here as x minus 1 and we have a plus b to be equal to x from here so instead of writing x plus b we can write x so we have x times a minus b equals to x minus 1 then let's divide both side by x to get a minus b so we divide this side by x divide this side by x so we say a minus b left here because x cancel x a minus b left will now be equal to we can separate this fraction that will be 1 minus 1 over x so we have a minus b to be equal to 1 minus 1 over x then when we bring it here we have a plus b to be equal to x then a minus b is equal to 1 minus 1 over x then we can solve these two equations now by you know eliminating b here that is we had these two equations then this give us 2a equals to the addition of this give us x plus 1 minus 1 over x then from here let's try to rearrange this and uh, bring the x together we have 2a now equals to x minus 1 over x then plus 1 then we have x minus 1 over x to be the same thing as a square from here we have x square equals to x minus 1 over x then we can replace x minus 1 over x here as x square so this will give us 2a equals to a square plus 1 then let's take 2a to this side in order to form a quadratic equation this side will remain 0 same thing as a square minus 2a plus 1 equals to 0 and here we can write this simply the left hand side here can be written as a minus 1 square so the expansion of this gives us this equals to 0 then we can take the square root on both sides square root on this side square we cancel square so we have a minus 1 equals to 0 and from there we can say that a is equals to 1 from here and uh, let's recall from what we have that a square 
that a square is given as x minus 1 over x. So let's bring that down here. And uh, we have x square to be equals to, from what we have, we have x square is equals to x minus 1 over x. Then x square here is 1 because a is 1. So 1 square is 1. So we have 1 equals to x minus 1 over x. So we have the SCM to be x. Let's multiply through by x here. And this gives us x equals to x times x here. We have x squared then minus 1. Let's take x to this side as well. In order to form a quadratic equation from here, then we have x squared now minus x minus 1 equals to 0. Then we can solve this using the quadratic formula. And uh, x here will be equal to minus b, and b is minus 1, that's minus, minus 1, plus or minus square root of b square, that's minus 1 square, minus 4a, that's 1c, minus 1, then all over 2a, that's 2 times 1. Then from here, this will give us plus, minus times minus, that's plus, so we have 1. Plus or minus square root of, we have minus 1 squared as 1, then minus times minus plus 4 over 2. So we have x now to be equals to, so we have x to be equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. And the two possible solutions here, we have x equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Or we have x to be equals to x to be equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now here the result here will give us a number less than 0. And then when we put this particular you know solution to the problem, we discover that this will not satisfy the equation given. So there won't be the solution here because it's not satisfied. The only solution we have here will be x equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and also turn the notification bell on so as not to miss out on our upload. Thank you for watching. See you in the next class and bye for now.